Clearly, there's an affordable housing shortage in our towns and cities. The average person can't afford to buy a house anymore. And yet, when you look around town, there are vacant lots, parking lots, there are dilapidated buildings. My name is Frank DeYoung. I'm representing Earthsharing Canada. Join me on a tour of my neighbourhood in downtown West End, Toronto. Let's investigate. Every year, every property is assessed for its value. And then the municipality levies a tax against the property value. Under land value taxation, the assessors, the provincial or statewide assessors, would ignore the buildings altogether and just the, assess the value of the land. And that's what the provincial and municipal and state governments would levy the tax against, just the value of the land and ignoring the value of the building. So even if you increase the quality of your building, the size of your building, the value of the land doesn't change. So the tax assessment by the municipality would not go up. So there would be an incentive to, to rebuild and expand and renovate and improve the quality, which makes for a better community, more economically viable, more, uh, more people on the street, more uh, desirable location, but with no more uh, taxes because you're not in increasing the amount of land that you're using. On the other side of the street, we have three examples of what you see all over the city. We have a residential house, we have a parking lot, vacant, and we have a brand new modern building. Under land value taxation, all three of these properties would pay exactly the same amount to the city. But the way it is now, the parking lot will pay almost nothing to the city, the residential house will pay a little, and this modern 20-unit building will pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to the city. This structure that we have now disincents people from using land to its maximum and best use. Behind me is an empty store. It's been empty for a long time. And one of the reasons it's empty is because when a store is vacant, the taxes go down. And if you look above, there's also an apartment up there that's vacant too. So the apartment above and the store are both derelict and vacant because uh, the owner receives tax relief. Under land value taxation, the owner would pay the same taxes whether the building is being used or not, which would incent the owner to sell it, rent it, or uh, fix it up. I know they have, uh, there's rolled tin ceiling in there. Could be a very groovy place. What you see here is a very busy corner and uh, the buildings in this corner are very small and very insignificant. The taxes to the city are very low. So as a result, we have Tim Hortons, we have a parking lot. On the other side, we have a car wash with almost no buildings on it. A busy intersection like this should have six, seven, eight story buildings instead of one story buildings. And we see that a lot in our cities. We have an empty lot effectively behind us with very few buildings. So that means their tax rate is extremely low. And at the same time, the land is going up in value 5% or 10% per year. So the owner is not interested in building anything here. He wants to keep it vacant to pay the taxes. If we had land value taxation, the carrying costs of this property would go way higher. So there would be an incentive for the owner to build on it or sell to someone who would build on it. It should be a serious commercial establishment or housing for people in this area. When we undervalue land by putting part of the municipal tax on buildings, we reduce the amount of tax on land. So people waste land. Even in our urban areas now, there's a lot of underused land and vacant lots and rundown buildings. So people say, well, we have to sacrifice new green fields and build sprawl in the suburbs. Land value taxation will leave a lot more land to nature because we will use our urban areas more intensely in creating better communities and leave land to nature. And it also means there is less social isolation because then seniors and kids can walk and ride bicycles and see other people on the street. Young people like it because there's more people around, more cafes and movie theaters. So it's a, a social benefit as well as an environmental benefit and definitely an economic benefit. This piece of land here is, is really reducing the amount of sprawl in the suburbs. It's allowing thousands and thousands of people to live in a very nice part of the city. Yet at the same time, these people are paying four times 
the municipal taxes that uh, the average person pays because multi-unit apartments are being hit dramatically higher than uh, single detached houses. To be fair in terms of land use, this parcel of land that three, these three large units are on should be paying the same taxes as the equivalent amount of single detached or semi-detached houses which are in this area. The property taxes are passed on to the tenants because the, the owner of the building says, okay, well you raise the property taxes and we'll raise the rents. But uh, with land value taxation, the tax man would ignore the buildings here and only put and only tax these people on the amount of land that they happen to be sitting on, which is a very small amount of land per capita. If we had land value taxation here, then all the rents in this whole area would go down and these people would have more money to spend on travel, on education, on uh, getting a better job or starting their own businesses, etc. But since they pay so much rent, because they have to pay an inordinate amount of tax to the city, they are kept in the poverty wheel all the time. The site behind me has been vacant for about 12 years, and if there was land value taxation, the owner would have been, had to pay more to keep it vacant, and it would have given an incentive to develop the site. Finally, it's being developed, but they're going to put 90 units in it, which is gargantuan, outsized, oversized for this part of town. But the developer has to do that because of the tremendous cost to the land. Parking lots are effectively vacant lots, and they're treated by the the tax man as a vacant lot. This parking lot that you see here would be paying a fraction of the city taxes than it would if there were buildings on it. So vacant lots are actually being subsidized by people who have buildings and that means that there's a disincentive for the owner of parking lots to actually build them. And then we have more cars and then people drive to shop here instead of shopping locally where there happens to be no parking. So there's a whole downward spiral happens when you don't have land value taxation that treats all land equally and the equal tax rate is paid on all land depending on, uh, regardless of whether there are buildings on it or not. Look at that, it's a single story with lots of parking. So the government is getting a real steal here. Here we have a provincially owned liquor store on a fabulous site. This is a large lot and it's on a busy street with lots of pedestrians, lots of cyclists, lots of transit, lots of cars, all kinds of people going by. Yet this site is being kept out of its best use. And the only thing it's being used for now is one rundown looking building and a lot of uh, just empty space and parking lot. If we had land value taxation, the provincial government would have to remit to the city five, ten times what they pay the city now for the privilege of monopolizing this lot and keeping it out of best use. If the province had to pay the true cost of this land, they would develop it into a multi-unit building, have more commercial in it, yes, have a liquor store in it, but also have lofts above it, have apartments above it, and uh, have other commercial in it. And that's what should be used for at a site like this. An historical anomaly is that churches don't pay taxes. Now, under land value taxation, the church building itself should not pay taxes, just like all other buildings in the city should be tax exempt. But the land underneath the church should pay the same tax as every other parcel, every other property, every other lot in the city. Why should churches be tax exempt when theater groups art galleries, community groups pay tax. It's not fair. It's about time we have a system that's fair for everyone. And if churches are paying for the true cost of the land, they will use land more efficiently, just like anyone else. In every instance where land value taxation is applied, the amount of new building and infill and renovations goes dramatically higher. The amount of building permits that the municipality issue always goes up because we always see that when you have land value taxation and buildings do not incur higher taxation, people want to fix up their building. New businesses come in because they know that if they renovate and fix up and expand, they will not get hit with extra taxes. This is evident all over the world. The only way to address the chronic shortage of affordable housing in our cities and towns is through land value taxation. We need a fairer taxation system that releases land to its best use. For more information, visit our website, earthsharing.ca.